In this video, we will discuss the options for working with group photos in ImageMatch. Before you begin, you will want to have an active ImageMatch license from either your lab or photo links. ImageMatch has the capability of recognizing and associating one group image to the corresponding subjects for that group. It is recommended that you speak with either your lab or your photographer to find out which workflow will work easiest for you. ImageMatch is capable of doing three separate workflows, which we will cover in this video. The first example I will give is the traditional way of assigning group images in ImageMatch. Your first step is to set up your data accordingly in ImageMatch. First, make sure that all of your group photos have a G in the criteria field. This identifies them as a group photo as instead of an individual photo. Second, make sure that the group photo has information that will link them to individual subjects. For teams, that information is typically the team name and the coach name. Other examples, like for class photos, that information is typically teacher and grade. Since my photos are team photos, I'm going to stick with team name and coach. You're also going to need to make sure that each subject that belongs to a particular group photo has the identical data in their team coach or teacher grade fields. For example, if our team name is Blue Jays and our coach is Mike King for our group photo, you're going to need to make sure that the athletes on that team have that information typed into their team and coach fields exactly the same way that the group photo does. That way, it knows which image belongs to that group photo. Once you have your data set up properly, you are now ready to start identifying your group photos. To access the Group Pictures function in ImageMatch, go to Data and Group Pictures. Once you're in the Group Pictures screen, you will need to tell it what field you are using to identify your group photos. In our example, we had a G in the Criteria field. Press Flag Groups to flag how many group photos are going to be. In my example, I have 10 group photos, so this is accurate. Press OK. Next, you will need to tell ImageMatch which fields to use for group naming. These are the fields that contain the information for both the group photo and the associated individuals that have in their data. In our example, those two fields were team name and coach. To the right of the naming section is the group saving section, and this is where we can select the field in which to save the new group photo JPEG information. Typically, group 8 is used for this field. If you are already using custom 8 for anything else, you can select a different field at this time. Once you have these options selected, we are now going to hit save groups to save that information to all of the records. If you need to physically see the group photos before doing that, you can press the Show Groups button to see the images and how they are going to be named. If the images need to be rotated, you can select to rotate the image up in the top as well. Take note that each group image is named with the two group name fields that were specified in group naming. That new JPEG name will then be populated into the save field that you had selected for the individual athletes once the save groups button is clicked. That save groups button then adds the name of each group image to every individual's data record in the image match job. The field selected in group saving is the field that will contain the name of the group images. When group pictures feature is exited, the group images will then be highlighted with a yellow box around it. When setting up your service to look for group photos with this workflow, make sure that on your service setup under the Processes tab, 
you place a check mark next to process group images for printing. You are also going to want to ensure that the group image is being pulled into your template using the custom 8 field. The other option of doing group photos in image match is in conjunction with a flow workflow. In flow, you have the ability to treat your group photo as a group photo in your image match export. This means that there will be no individual records for this group photo, so you will not physically see them imported into image match. Rather, in each record that has a group image assigned, you will see the group image JPEG name referenced in the group image field. To get your service you have built for your group photo to be recognized with this information, we need to set up your data to be as a dynamic pro services workflow. To do this, locate the folder that you exported out of Flow and click in the address bar to highlight and then copy the entire path listed up here. Next, open your job in Image Match and go to Data, Advanced Replace Data. You don't need to place anything at the top, but down at the bottom in the Replace section, select Group Image from the drop down. Next, in the Value field, paste the path that you had just copied. At the end of this path, we are now going to type in our unique information. Type in a backslash, a percent sign, group image, type exactly the way you see to the left, and another percent sign. Once done, press OK, and you will see their group image field placed with the entire path in their group image name in their group image field. You're then going to want to ensure that the template you created in Pro Services is pulling in your group image name by that group image field. A third option of doing group photos in Image Match is another workflow in conjunction with Flow. In Flow, you have the ability to treat your group photo as a pose in your Image Match export. This means there will be two records for each individual one for their original image and one for their group photo. In this situation, when we go to process our group photos and image match, we are going to treat this as a proof job. To do this, open your job in image match and go to Data, Proof Sheets. At the top here, we are going to enable our proof sheet conversion, and we always want to hit Select None to ensure nothing is checked off at the bottom. We're then going to choose a unique identifier for each subject to base our poses off of. Since this is a flow job, I am going to use ticket code. Over to the right, we are going to say how we're going to identify which image is which pose. Pose 1 is always going to be image name, and by default, Custom 2 will be for Pose 2. If you are already using Custom 2 for something else, you can select which field you would like to use here. Once done, press OK. You're then going to want to ensure you your template that you created in Pro Services is pulling your group image by the Custom 2 field. With any of these group photo workflows, once you have your service built for your group image, you must then assign it to your PUD and PRM before printing. To add your service to your PUD, go to File and Preferences, Packages, and next to PUD, hit the Config button. Press the Add button to add a new unit and under Unit Type, select Service. Down towards the bottom under Service Setup, hit the three dots and browse out for your service that you created for your group photo, and press Open. Once done, hit File Save Unit Definitions, and your PUD is now set with your group photo. Now that your service is in your PUD, you can create a package with this unit. To add this unit to your PRM, go to File, Preferences, and Packages tab. Next to Program, 
press the config button and press add to create a new package. Type in a description and a map number and if desired you can put a price and a cost. Press add unit and browse out for your group photo unit you just created. Press OK and press OK again to save your PRM. Once your PUD and PRM are set up properly, go through and assign this package to whoever you wish to receive a group photo. Then go to Print, Send Packages to RIP Links, and then go to File, Select All, and press Print. Your group photos will then render out of RIP Links accordingly.